morning and welcome to another Daily Hope. My name is Evan Neal and I'm a hospice chaplain in San Diego as well as one of the drummers on uh, the worship team at North Coast Calvary. It's good to be with you all today as we dive into God's Word. Today we're looking at Psalm 71. It's a, a beautifully rich psalm that I think can be seen as many different types of psalms. The first time I read it, I was like, well, I'm reading a prayer for someone in a time of need. And then I read it again, and I'm like, this is actually a psalm of praise. And then as I started thinking, it's both. I think our prayers can be our praise, and our praise can be our prayers. One in the same. There's three um, critical points uh, in this psalm that I want to look at. The first is the opening. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. The psalmist here is um, uh, thanking God for God's power, for God's uh, presence in, in the psalmist's life. It's, a, it's an opening statement of, of thankfulness. As we go down, we get to the second part, and it says, Rescue me, O God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel, so on and so forth. It's a prayer of supplication. So supplication is offering to God our, our needs, our concerns, our, our yearnings, and our wants. Um, it's offering that which is weighing to us to God. And finally, you know, uh, the psalmist uh, offers more. And then near the end, it says, I will also praise you with the harp for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing praises to you with the lyre, O holy one of Israel. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you my soul also, which you have rescued. And that there is a declaration of praise. Um, through all of life, no matter the highs and lows, what is thrown at us, um, the joys we encounter, and also the hardships, we're seeing here that we could find ways to praise God. And we do that with our whole being. Um, a harp and a lyre, those are, are stringed instruments. You're physically having to use your body to make um, a joyful noise for God. And then through your voice, your tongues, your mouth, you're physically singing to God praise for all that God has done. This is uh, so applicable for me as a drummer. Um, I, I don't get to speak a lot about uh, worship and drumming uh, to a lot of people, so here, here's my pedestal. What is so important for me as a drummer on the worship team um, every time we gather together and worship and praise God is that through my drumming, I, I find ways to pray and praise. I'm not only physically praising God with all my limbs, um, but as I drum, I'm praying, uh, just as the psalmist did. I'm praying uh, out of a, an attitude of thankfulness to God um, for the ways that Jesus has shown up in my life this past week, and also where I feel like um, I need to lay my needs and concerns down at Jesus' feet. I do all of that while drumming, um, and I think through that prayer, my praise is, is, is released in more profound ways. I find that as I release the concerns on my, my heart, my soul, I am able to praise more fully and openly. And so that's my encouragement for you today. As you read over Psalm 71 again throughout the day, um, I encourage you to find avenues to thank God, to lay your concerns at Jesus' feet, and to praise. And as we gather for worship this Sunday, um, this coming Sunday, I, I invite you to pray as you praise, if you haven't done that already. And through your prayer, notice how your praise is strengthened, 
how your praise is more um, full and joyful. Through our prayer, our praise for God is strengthened. And through our praise for God, our prayers are strengthened. That's my hope. I believe it. And I, I, uh, I encourage you all to take hold of that. God bless each and every one of you.